Hello, thank you for taking a look at this video. I hope this video actually helps you in your pursuit for use of third-party controllers with your iPad or even uh, iPhone. I have I use uh, some aftermarket Joy Cons that are uh, I'll put the link down in the description. But I, one thing that I had problem with is uh, figuring out how to use the Joy Cons with the iPad. I knew they were pretty much Bluetooth and Go, but I did have some difficulties initially. There are videos out there that show you how to connect uh, third-party Joy-Cons and even uh, straight from Nintendo Joy-Cons as well. But the problem is like if you play games such as Call of Duty Mobile or other games where it would use traditional controller layout for such as a PlayStation controller or Xbox controller, the controls do not match on the Joy-Con. The buttons are actually back or reversed from what they would actually be. So I'm going to show you within the within the update to iPad OS and iPhone OS 16, Apple has given the ability to use Joy-Cons with I, iPad OS and iOS. So now I'm going to show you how to how to actually pair your Joy-Cons. And then how you can uh, rename them so you knew, so if you have like different type, like you have one that control set of controllers that you want to have map to one game, or vice versa, if you have five games, you want to have five different controllers. However, you want to do it. So to start with, we'll go to settings. Now, first, I'm going to show you un under Bluetooth. I actually have the, my after or my third-party Joy Cons already connected. I was able, once I got them both connected, I was able to go into the, the settings for each one and actually rename it because both of these are white and then I have another set of Joy-Cons that I use as a backup in case in case the battery dies on these third-party ones I'm using. So these here, in, any Joy-Con you use or any Joy-Con pair, I should say, whenever you use them, they actually will pair separately just the way you see it here. So whenever you initially connect to Bluetooth through the Joy-Cons, it's not going to show a color or anything like that. It's just going to say Joy-Con L and Joy-Con R for left and right. Now, once those two connect, they'll be connected as a pair. Now, they, they still show separately in your Bluetooth settings, but they will be connected together. Now, just to show that I have those connected, you have, and, and now for this next part, in order to map the controller, you actually have to uh, already have you have to have them paired and actually connected to your phone for this next part. So the next thing you can do is go down to general, and then under general there is a tab right under date keyboard and and there you see it says game controller. Now you can see my Joy Cons are connected at the very top. You can see Joy Con left and right, so they are connected and paired and paired is uh, uh, together. Now, in order for you to actually map the controller, and this would also work if you wanted to uh, map the Joy-Cons to, say, a game that uses uh, PlayStation, because you can use uh, Xbox, uh, Xbox Remote Play, and then or Microsoft Xbox Remote Play, and then uh, PlayStation, PlayStation Remote Play. I believe that's what it's called. But anyways, if you were streaming games from your Xbox or even streaming games from your PlayStation, this b being able to map your controllers, the Joy-Con controllers to your iPad or iOS, then this will give you the ability to map your controller to that to those games because by default this is going to be backwards, and you'll see here what I mean. So first thing you want to do is right right down below you can see that, that it says uh, profiles, and then it says default. Default is exactly the way the the, the Joy Cons would be right out of the box. Here you can actually add an additional profile. If you if you if you try to go in default, it will not let you, let you tap on it. Um, even if you tap the Joy-Con icon, and then you go to the default control layout, this is the default. But you will not be able to change any of the settings within within this menu. So the the default uh, layout it it's stuck. Now the way you fix that is you go and you hit Add Profile. Here, you can actually name a new profile. For me, I use my Joy-Cons with my iPad and my iPhone, and I use it for uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So I'll just put COD M in here. And then down here where it has the button layout, 
for for a Joy-Con controller, if you're using, I'm going to do this as an Xbox because that's what I have. I don't have a PlayStation, so but it should work the same way as far as your button mapping goes. So for the A button, your A button on uh, on the Joy-Con controller would actually be the B button, and then the B button on the Joy-Con controller mapping it for an Xbox would actually be the A button. Now, as you can see, what I meant by the by the buttons are reversed based off of what they would actually be. So the X button is the Y button, and the Y button is the X button. Once you finish this and you've given your profile a name, in fact, let me, it defaulted back to new profile, so let me fix that really quick. And then just hit done. And then as you can see, I have a new profile here, but it shows as not used. In order for me to... To map to, to officially map my Joy Cons to to my I or my Joy Cons to the new profile, I have to go into the into the Joy Cons that are paired with my device, and then over on the over on the the right the right side, you see where it says default. If you select that, and then go under where it says default, it says the Joy Con L and R, and then user pro or use profile. Over on the right side, if you if you click on default, you'll see the profile that I have created. And now this is the profile that will be used whenever I play Call of Duty Mobile. Now, if you if you don't if if you have specific games that you want to have different profiles for, you can do that as well. But for this, um, I don't use this controller, the specific one that I'm going to list down in the description, the third party one. Uh, I don't use it for anything but Call of Duty Mobile. And then uh, if I have, if I use uh, Apple Arcade, most of their games are mapped similar to an Xbox controller or to a uh, PlayStation controller. But if you wanted to like have a profile for a specific game, um, as you can see, I only have the Backbone app and then Call of Duty in here. So you can select Call of Duty. And that means that every time that this controller is turned on, it would automatically default to... Call of Duty Mobile. Okay, now that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you can add multiple profiles in here. As I stated before, if you have an Xbox and a PlayStation and you want to have button controls mapped to different devices for, for di even different games, this, is this would be where you would be able to do that. So I hope that this has uh, helped you and your pursuit of uh, video game greatness uh, but please leave a comment down in the description uh, as long as as long as I get the notification then I will, I will answer back if, if you have any questions or if you just want to comment for 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 future people to see then I would very much appreciate that and then of course you can like and subscribe if you wish thank you very much for your time and 